So everybody is trying. I'm going to be calling this paranoid schizophrenia, um, saying names during a psychosis online vlog. Um, some people with paranoid schizophrenia, um, See, this is what I believe. I believe that even though I have paranoid schizophrenia, um, at the end of the day, the people coincidences are real. Um, my dad doesn't have paranoid schizophrenia. Um, but the people coincidences have been real ever since I was about, um... 17 or 18, um, and they're real even though I have paranoid schizophrenia. Um... Some people who have paranoid schizophrenia, um may say names of people during their psychosis. Um, during my psychosis, I said the name of my first girlfriend and my second girlfriend and this third girl that I was with and this fourth girl I dated and then this one girl, um who is the only girlfriend of mine out of my five original girlfriends. Um, um, that I have conversations with. Um, and I said the name of the guy that I believe raped me during my psychosis, and I said his full name. Um, but I noticed that his slander page, because on the guy that I believe raped me during my psychosis, um, he would use a fake name when he would make YouTube videos. Um, he wouldn't use his real name, but some people knew what his real name was. Um, but I said his real name... And I also said the name of this guy um, that wanted to have a threesome with me during my psychosis. Sometimes people during a psychosis, um, may talk about names of people, or write down names of people, um, and if they do, um, just ignore it. But some names of people, um, may be people coincidence people. that might be real even though a person has paranoid schizophrenia. See, my religious belief is that I'm Wiccan. Because with Wicca, my friend Jeff, who is a people coincidence, 
told me that the laws with witchcraft are to know to will to dare and to keep silent. So I'm Wiccan is my religious belief. And I have a pentagram necklace because the people coincidences are really even though I have paranoid schizophrenia. And see, with Christianity, the laws are, or in the Bible, there's verses about faith. And see, my friend taught me that with witchcraft, the laws are to know, to will, to dare, and to keep silent. And the people coincidences are really to know I have severe paranoid schizophrenia. There's about 10 of them on my Facebook, and there's about 11 of them that I'm not friends with that are real even though I have paranoid schizophrenia. Sometimes a person during a psychosis may write down names of people that are associated with certain things. Um, after my psychosis, um, my dad told me that I wouldn't go to jail, but he said that if you do make videos, not to mention anybody's names, and see I was refusing injections and medications, um, during my 2020 psychosis because I didn't think anything was wrong with me um, because the people coincidences are real even though I have severe paranoid schizophrenia. An example of a people coincidence is um, my first best friend um, and my gr first girlfriend had similar names. And my second girlfriend was named Brooke, and there's a girl on my Facebook named Bailey um, that looks like Brooke does, and so you have Brooke and Bailey, and they look exactly the same. And people can meet and interact with these people, coincidence people, even though I have paranoid schizophrenia. Um, people who have paranoid schizophrenia, it's hard for them to live a normal life. Um, about 0.3% to 0.7% of people are diagnosed with schizophrenia during their lifetime. There were an estimated 1.1 million new cases and in 2019 a total of 20 million cases globally. Males are more often affected and on average have an earlier onset, although some large reviews have not found gender differences in the prevalence of the disorder. The likely causes of schizophrenia include genetic and environmental factors. And my mom, Pam, um, has schizophrenia, and another example of people coincidence, people that are really, even though I have schizophrenia, is my mom's name is Pam, and my stepdad's name is Tony, and my brother's name is Zach, and there's a car pusher at my work before I got disability named Tony with red hair, like my stepdad that still works there. Um, a lady named Pam that worked there is a car pusher, and a boy named Zachary that worked with me. Um, Zachary doesn't work at that shop right anymore, um, but the Tony man does, who looks like my stepdad. And the lady named Pam doesn't work there, but her, um, I'm not sure if her daughter works there or not. Um, so that's an example of people coincidence, people that are real even though I have paranoid schizophrenia. Um, and if a person says during a psychosis, or if a person says that they have paranoid schizophrenia on a blog, when they make videos, believe them. Um, because schizophrenia, um, as I said, it says that about 3 to 7% of people are diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia in their lifetime, and there was an estimated 1.1 million new cases, and in 2019, a total of 20 million cases globally. 
Um, so if a person writes down that they have paranoid schizophrenia on a blog, when they make videos about a certain situation, believe them. Um, but in my case, the people coincidences are real. Even though I have paranoid schizophrenia, so it makes me believe in, oh my god and goddess. Um, and I find Hecate to be, um, a scary goddess. Um, but I find her to be a protective, loving mother goddess. Um, that saved me from going to jail during my psychosis. I honestly didn't know much about the law. I was just doing and saying what the voices were telling me to do and saying, linking people's, um, YouTube channels and things like that and saying names, um... And my dad told me I wouldn't go to jail, but there was this one boy who messaged me, and I was able to tell him about people, coincidence, people that are real, even though I have paranoid schizophrenia, and how I felt like it was trippy. Um, and he kind of laughed, and then he didn't talk to me anymore. And he messaged me last year. Um, I sometimes have conversations with this one boy, um, and things like that, and... It's possible for people to write down names of people during a psychosis, um, and if they do, just ignore them, or don't say anything. Um, they are, if a person has paranoid schizophrenia, they could be in a psychosis and they could be having delusions, um... And things like that. And keep in mind, um, my belief is that I'm a witch. And that God, um, pays attention to me because the people coincidences are really the I have severe paranoid schizophrenia. Um, so my belief is that I'm a bloodline witch. Um, because I was taught that witchcraft is a very real thing that happens in America and in today's society now. Um, even though I have paranoid schizophrenia, the people coincidences are real. And I was able to talk about people coincidence, people with people who messaged me and things like that. And I sometimes have conversations with people and tell people that even though I have paranoid schizophrenia, the people coincidences are real. So my belief is that God is like a girl from the ring. Um, and she holds a knife. And her husband is a muscular man with a beard. Um, as a god. It's not like I feel like I have any special powers or anything like that. I just see the people coincidence people on Facebook. When I s scroll through my timeline, I'm in there real even though I have paranoid schizophrenia. Um, so it's possible for people who have paranoid schizophrenia to write down names of people during a psychosis, um, and if they do, um, just ignore it. Um, during my psychosis, I wrote down a lot of names of people, um, that are people coincidence people, um, and my dad told me that if I make videos about a situation to be careful who I mention, um, if I make videos, but I haven't been in a psychosis for about a year now. Um, but the people coincidences are always real, even though I have paranoid schizophrenia. So I'm looking because of that, so I'm going to be calling this, um, Paranoid Schizophrenia, um, Writing Down Names vlog. 